Now, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. Good morning. I'm Aisha Tolliver. Here are your Sunday morning headlines. More details we've got on a crash in Suffolk. A pedestrian hit by a car has died. The crash happened around 9.30 Friday night on North Main Street. David Burford of Windsor later died. The driver involved stayed on the scene and police are still investigating. Turning now to some developing news out of Chesapeake. That's where police are looking for a driver who led police in a pursuit and then abandoned the vehicle on the interstate. Investigators say it all started around 12.30 yesterday morning on 464 near Poindexter Street. An officer ran the tag on a Mazda SUV and learned it was reported stolen. The officer tried to stop the driver. There was a pursuit that continued into Norfolk until the officer lost sight of the vehicle. The SUV was later found crashed and abandoned. No one was hurt. If you know anything about what happened, call the crime line or use the P3 Tips app. Chesapeake police say a driver rear ended a police officer who stopped to help at a crash scene. It happened around 12.30 yesterday morning on 264 near Ballantyne Boulevard. Police say as the driver slowed down, a car hit the back of the officer's vehicle. The driver didn't stop but left a license plate behind. Virginia State Police went to the address where the plate was registered but say the driver was not there. The officer wasn't hurt in the crash. Here in Hampton Roads, red flags are greeting beachgoers all up and down the ocean front as Tropical Storm Henri brushes past us off the coast. Luckily, Hampton Roads isn't expecting many impacts from the tropical storm. The storm is, however, bringing really rough surf all along Virginia's coast. Lifeguards had to save one or two people yesterday. Those red flags may stick around for the next couple of days, so be extra careful if you plan on going out into the water today.